Okay, so let us solve this problem. So this problem is something related to graphing algebra, gra uh, graphing algebra equation. So it's a linear linear function where it is something related to perpendicular lines. So I'm going to teach you this problem. This is uh, coming from an SAT math reviewer and I'm going to teach you how we get the answer and what is the correct answer for this. But before that, um, at the end of this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you believe you have learned something from this video. Okay, so if y is equal to 6x plus 3 and y is equal to cx plus 3 are the equations of perpendicular lines, then what is the value of C? So here are the options. So A is negative 6, B is negative 1 fourth, C is negative 1 sixth, and D is 1 third. So it is saying that uh, these two lines, so this line and this, so these are actually lines. If you, gra if you graph them, they are perpendicular. So if you say perpendicular, they are intersecting uh, like a letter T, exactly 90 degree, uh, forming a 90 degree angle. So exactly vertical and horizontal to each other. So they are opposite, right opposite to each other. It's not, it's not like this, but exactly like like a letter T. So now the question is, um, is this what is this C? So. There's a rule for that for um, perpendicular lines. It says that um, if the if the two lines are perpendicular to each other, so the the slope of the first equation we'll name it m of one m m sub one. So the slope of the first line is equal to the the negative reciprocal of the the second slope. So it's just negative reciprocal. So for example, let's say we have uh, an equation y equals, uh, let's say, uh, 2 thirds x minus 5, for example. So the, the perpendicular line for this is, uh, for example, so there are a lot of possible perpendicular lines for this, but um, as long as the, the slope is uh, reciprocal and negative of this, so it's negative and then and reverse the 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 slope which is this and then x and whatever is the y intercept so this is the y intercept so plus let's say any number like plus two so it doesn't matter whatever is the y intercept as long as the slope is a negative reciprocal so another example is if we have an equation y equals um um, let's say negative 4x and then um, plus 10, for example. So whatever is the y-intercept, it doesn't matter. As long as the slope, as I said, is a negative reciprocal. So it's a negative reciprocal. So the possible equation that is a um, perpendicular line perpendicular to this is y equals and then um, reverse the 4 which will be 1 fourth and then the negative of the sign so negative of negative is positive so it will be a positive 1 fourth x and then um, whatever is the so you, you can put any number for the y intercept let's say 2 uh, I'll just use another number so plus 5 for example so the you take the um, reciprocal of this or meaning you reverse it interchange the numerator and the denominator and then and then the sign of this will be changed to its opposite from negative to positive or positive to negative so now going back to our problem the equation is um y equals 6x plus 3 so and then the second equation which is considered perpendicular line is y equals cx plus 3. So what do you think is c? So c must be 
the res negative reciprocal of this. So if you take the reciprocal of 6, it's 1, 6. And then a neg uh, the opposite sign of 6, which is negative. So that means the C should be equal to negative 1, 6. And that is letter C.